Aloha, y'all. This is Paul again. You know, uh, I was chatting with a client yesterday, and we were talking about manifestation. And he said something that really rung true with me. He said, you know, I've got all these books, that I've read them all, and to apply it all is just, you know, you get on track, and then you fall off track, and there's different perspectives on it. So I'm going to give you the, the hopefully 60 to 120 minute version of it. This is my perspective. What is manifesting? Very simply, it's what you think is what you become. Now, what keeps it from coming to us? Part of it is trust. We put the thought out there, and then we it doesn't show up right away, uh, and so we break break doubt. We we break trust with it, and so there we put it out there again. By putting it out there again and again and again, it's the same as telling God, "I don't trust you." That's a very key point. Now, another thing that's really relevant is when we place it out there, we want to do it from a perspective of it's already done. So it takes the typical manifestation somewhere between, you know, one minute and a month or two to arrive, sometimes longer. So what is the gap of time? What causes that gap of time? Well, a, a big chunk of it is our trust. Another chunk of it is the emotion we have into it. The... Um, power we put into it. Do you visualize the outcome? Do you see it as already coming? Do you look for those things that it is coming? Very often what happens is we get stuck in the moment of what we're looking at. Let's say we're financially you know, starving. What we're looking at is what we have been focusing on the last two months, three months, year, two years, three years. If we're financially starving, that's what we're looking at. It's right in front of us. We see it. So it must mean that what we're requesting is not working. Not true. The universe always gives us what we put our focus on. And if our focus is on what the problem is in the moment, that's what the universe is going to give us more of, what the problem is we're focusing on in the moment. You get it? So the key is to acknowledge what's in the moment. That is, We have to acknowledge it. It's there. It's in the moment. But we can immediately upon seeing it say, yes, but this is a manifestation that I started a month ago, a year ago, two years ago. And yes, it's here now because I started it back then, but it does not have to be my future. You see, my future is what I already placed to God. I already put in the order and I know it's coming. I trust that God's bringing it to me. So this is a really important statement because first of all, when we focus on the past, it's going to bring us more of what the past brought us. This is one reason why wealthy people are very wealthy because they always bathe in wealth and so they know no difference so they're manifesting more of it. Poor people bathe in poorness so they manifest more of it. The key is to put the request out there, not focus on it, and when a negative shows up in your face, you say, ah, I see you, but you're a manifestation that I started you know, in the past. Now I know I've already put my future manifestation out there and it's coming. I can see it. I can feel it. And you immediately shift the energy. It is the shifting of the energy that allows it to continue coming to you and arrive that much faster. So this is my short version of how to not derail yourself with manifesting and how to ensure that it comes as quickly as possible. And always keep that happy positive mindset because it is that happy positive mindset, free of doubt, that causes it to come to you. Uh, thanks for uh, this opportunity to share this with you. Ciao.